private lessons, in my opinion, are absolutely imperative for actual development. When is your child going to get that one in on one time? They're not going to get it at a little league practice because there's usually going to be what two, three, four coaches out there for 12 to 14 kids. They maybe they'll get five minutes in one on one time. The private lessons are imperative. I think that more kids at the age of seven, eight, nine need to get a private lesson or two or three just to get the foundation down before they embark upon three to four years of practicing bad habits. So if you're starting your child out in baseball, bite the bullet, spend two, 300 bucks, get a few private lessons to get them understanding how to swing and throw and feel ground balls properly on a one-on-one basis so they're getting individualized instruction. Next is in a private lesson, you get lots of reps, lots of instruction, more in an hour than you'll get in a few practices. It allows you to build confidence and you can ask questions and get a better understanding of where you are at players or where your child is at. Now, there are some things that are not so great about lessons. Well, it's not game-like. It's, it doesn't replicate what it's like to be in the box versus a real pitcher with all the fans out there with a the game on the line. You just There's nothing that can replicate that. Um, there all are also very many mediocre instructors out there. Those that are just, eh, not that great at teaching. And I can usually identify those because they throw a lot of batting practice during their, uh, private lessons, but they don't do much teaching. Anybody can throw batting practice. Well, not anybody, but a lot can throw batting practice. It takes, um, uh, a lot of skill to be able to allow kids to feel how their body moves and to think about things in the right way and to connect the dots. So make sure you're finding a good instructor. And lastly, they can be expensive, um, but I often do think that they are worth it. Um, private lesson recommendations is do them. Um, but most importantly is never do one and be done. You got to do multiple. I'm talking at least two to three, show your child, demonstrate them what it is like to focus on the process over time to get 10% or 1% better every single time you show up at the lesson. But the, when we take them to one lesson, uh, we're showing them that, that we're looking for a quick fix. And in the game of life in baseball, there's really no quick fixes. It, it, development and improvement is, is by focusing on the process over a, uh, over a period of time. So be proactive and not reactive. I get all my private lesson requests in March after they have a, the kids have a few games and the parents are pulling their hair out. They're like, why is my kid not getting hits? Well, they weren't prepared to begin with during this for the season. And so now you're going to get them lessons and maybe they'll be ready for the end of the season and they'll be at their best. But the goal is to get them at their best for the start of the season. So my recommendation is get two to three lessons right at the start of the season. Um, and then also for those coaches that are coaching kids um, and they've been having them in doing lessons with them for two, three, four, five times, maybe these kids are 11, 12, 13. They need to be leveraging ch technology, whether it be a blast motion, a hit tracks, a rap soto, um, a K vest. There's all sorts of stuff out there. Even I would even consider a slow motion video camera on the iPhone. Good technology that should be leveraged to help develop players. The naked eye can only catch so much. If you really want to hold yourself accountable as a coach, you're going to leverage the latest and greatest technology. So I always make sure if I'm going to sign up a kid for a lesson and I'm going to give a parent to a coach that that coach is going to be leveraging technology in their lessons. Next is for lessons, watch the lessons and take notes and ask questions. The, the teacher or the coach can only make the child so much better with one lesson, you know, one every, one every two weeks or so. If you, the parent, know what is supposed to be worked on, you can work on it with them at home. So be there, present, and watch the lessons, ask questions, and learn from it. Some of the private instructors may not like it, but you're looking for the instructor that does want for the best for your child, so he will want that parent there so that you're all aligned on how we're going to go about improving. Um, and then as I already mentioned, just if you're doing lessons, it's like maintenance on a car. You're not just going to take your car in for one oil change over the course of a, of a year or two. Same thing with a private lesson. You're not just going to do it one time. You need a maintenance. Um, so private lessons are like maintenance. Take your, 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 your kid in to get some swing cleanups from time to time. What do we offer? Well, we've got a bunch of awesome coaches on staff. I don't do lessons myself, but uh, I do farm them out to, to my coaches. So if you have a specific need or a focus that you want to improve upon, ping me, let me know, and I'll, I'll direct you to a great coach.